In this video, we got a gameplay on the new Galaxy Opal, Josh Gideon, NBA 2K23. My team is going to be a 98 overall, shooting guard, point guard, and he's 6 foot 8, so a great height for that point guard position. Taking a look at his stats, I mean, he's going to be nice on the offensive end, 89 three ball, 94 mid range, while also having a 95 driving dunk and a 95 ball handle. The pass accuracy is amazing at a 98, going to be throwing a lot of dimes, and then he's also got really good defensive stats. I mean, for your 6 foot 8 point guard, he's got 88 block, 86 interior defense with a 93 steal and a 93 perimeter great rebounding for a point guard and then he's also pretty quick 94 speed 94 acceleration with a 94 speed with ball and then he's got 16 hall of fame badges including acrobat bully limitless takeoff posterizer catch and shoot ankle breaker clamp breaker dimer floor general handles for days killer combos needle threader quick first step unpluckable anchor and clamps as well so some pretty good defensive hops there and also really good playmaking ones and then he's got 32 gold badges including blinders claymore corner specialist green machine guard up he doesn't come with limitless which is a little bit annoying you'll probably have to add that to the card but all around i think josh giddy might be on like a luke walton type of level will he be as good as luke walton i guess we'll find out in today's gameplay i just really want to test out his jump shot and see how good or bad his jump shot is because i don't think it's going to be a great release but he does have the curry slide and some very good movement so his movement is going to be super elite but looking at his jump shot i mean yeah it's just not a great release i don't think off that one shot it's a little bit wonky yeah, it's going to be hard to time. I'm not going to lie. That is a really weird jump shot. He kind of pushes it. And yeah, it's also pretty slow. Okay, yeah, I'm not... I'm not the biggest fan of that release at all. He does have the normal leaner, I believe. Does he have the normal leaner? That will help on the offensive end. So he does have the normal leaner on very quick, which is going to be cool. But yeah, that jump shot, guys, I just don't know. Maybe it's me and like, I just can't agree with him. But that is just not a good jump shot in my opinion because it feels super slow but it's also like kind of wonky to green like i just can't get the timing down if you guys try out this josh giddy card let me know what you guys think about his jump shot because yeah i just don't know his movement does feel really good like this card feels fast like for a six foot eight point guard he's just going to be really good at getting to the rim i mean that's going to be the way you guys want to use this card he's got some good dunk packages i think he's got quick drops and front clutches as well so like if you're shooting threes you want to be taking the normal leaner and then if you're driving to the basket i mean that's going to be the best way to score with this card and then if you're like wide open in the catch and shoot that's when you want to be taking your threes so let's go green one more three and let's get on to the galaxy opal josh giddy gameplay into the Clutch M online game here with the Galaxy Bull Josh Giddy. We're looking to go around that screen on the first possession. I mean, going downhill is going to be the easiest way and the best way to score with this Josh Giddy card. I mean, I'll try not to rim run every single play because I want to show off his three ball a little bit, but I will say I'm probably going to rim run a lot and just show you guys how to use this card because I can tell you right now that jump shot is just not going to be good, man. So we're looking to play good defense. Great contest there from Josh Giddy. How is that an open? I thought he got there and got at least like a 10% contest. But yeah, the way you guys want to use this card is just going to be able to take your defender off the dribble and just look to get to the rim but he also does have this normal leaner so you can use that to your advantage as well as we're trying to pass that ball inside to Giannis and he's going to reach and get that foul call so our matchup is going to be against I think that's the Ty Jerome card I do believe from the bracket buster takeovers as we're looking to go all the way to the rim good pass there or maybe not so good of a pass from Josh Giddy as he's looking to go all the way look at Eddie Curry playing some great defense and we're trying to find Josh Giddy on that inside got to get the ball out of the key man look at we, we got to take a center off the dribble we got Ryan Hollins on us yeah we're going all the way to the rim Josh Giddy with that slam I will say he does feel super quick like I thought he would maybe move like a point guard or sorry I thought maybe he'd move like a center but he actually moves like a point guard like he really runs fast like if you look at a card like Lamelo Ball who's also a six foot seven six foot eight point guard he really doesn't move that well but yeah Josh Giddy, that is really nice to see the fact that his movement is actually super super nice but yeah we're looking to clamp up here on the defensive end I do want to see some more defense from the card because he's six foot eight he's going to need to be a really good defender watching him driving all the way to the rim and look at Josh Giddy. I believe he did get that block and we're looking to run all the way here in transition but yeah I want to get at least a couple threes you know at least taken and maybe knock down a couple threes as well as we're looking to find him here with some space we cannot create any space but we're trying to go all the way I mean we just got absolutely boxed that was great defense from my opponent but yeah guys let me know in the comment he's hurt man Giddy's like I just got completely boxed I need to get up but let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this Galaxy Opal Josh Giddy card I do want to see a little bit more defense from him and just see him clamp up on the defensive end on the 1v1 gotta watch that pass back out he's gonna shoot that with Sam Decker can we grab that rebound and yes we can Giannis is gonna steal Josh Giddy's rebound there but yeah I think I want to get him in the two-man pick and roll like we got uh, Ty Jerome on us this should be an easy slip every single time and just look to find him down low that's wow he's gonna miss that over Ty Jerome 
and we're gonna get the transition take foul i thought he was easily gonna make that maybe the help defender got a really good contest there but i'm pretty sure that's gonna be the best way to use this josh giddy card is just able to find him in the two-man pick and roll whether he's rolling to the basket or maybe you find him on the pick and pop and he's got that wide open three because he's six foot eight a point guard so if you match up against a ty jerome you match up against these smaller guards you're gonna have a huge height advantage especially down low as we're looking to play good defense that is great defense from josh giddy as we cannot get a rebound right now Giannis gonna swap that off the backboard but i'm telling you we just cannot get a rebound and now he's got the ball into the hands of i think that's glenn rice but i could be wrong as we're looking to play good defense got to watch that pass to the corner josh giddy with a great contest that was a perfectly timed jump as we're looking to find him here all the way down in transition we're going all the way and I, I know I'm just dunking and just going to the rim every single play, but I'm trying to show you guys the best way to use this card because I can promise you right now, unless you're just trying to have fun with him and just really chuck up threes, you're not going to be shooting very many threes with this Josh Giddy card. Most times, you'll just be trying to get to the rim and maybe kick to a wide open shooter or just be able to create, you know, for other players on your squad and really not be your main ball handler. So, that, so I'm kind of trying to show, show the way to use him, how you'd probably use him in game as well. As we're looking to go around that screen, we will try to pull up though from the four point range and we're actually able to knock down a four point shot and he doesn't even have limitless i believe right i don't think he has limitless on gold or hall of fame so that was a really tough shot with josh giddy he's got a little bit of space here got to a switch that got to watch that pass inside we're looking to play great defense here hands up boban great defense from boban grab that rebound and we're looking to push that ball here in transition try to beat him off the dribble gonna find jeremy Shohan going all the way and we can't throw up that lob i wanted to get a little assist there off that lob but yeah a not bad shot there from josh giddy from the four point range was really surprised he hit that to be honest as we're playing great defense can we grab that board yes we can with boban you know we got to find out in transition throw it up to yon we will finally get our lob assist he's now got 12 points and one assist on the ball game really playing not that bad to be honest a lot better than I was expecting Josh Giddy to play in this clutch time game. You just got to know how to use him and use him right, and he can be very, very effective. Will he be better than the Scotty Barnes, the Sangoons, the Luke Walton? Probably not. I just don't see his jump shot being on those guys' levels, and those guys are also way better defenders. So I don't think he'll be on the same level as like a Luke Walton, a Scotty Barnes, and those type of cards. But I mean, he might be super cheap. Like if he's 30,000 MT, you might as well go get Luke Walton. But if you're looking for a backup point guard, I mean, Josh Giddy could be your answer. He's also going to be really fun to use because he is Josh giddy and I'm, I'm sure a lot of people do like him you know at least in the nba so we're trying to grab that rebound yes we can with bobon i mean this game is pretty much finished we played really good defense in this game i do want to try to get maybe a couple more threes maybe a couple lob passes stuff like that just try to do some fancy stuff with josh giddy as we're trying to go around that screen we literally got no stamina we get him to jump though and wow that was an open shot we actually could have maybe hit that but look at josh giddy playing defense and we're able to get that steal we're gonna throw a terrible pass but yeah i do want to cook up on the offensive end maybe try to get a cool stuff to happen we're going all the way josh giddy with that layup up and we can't get it to drop still 20 seconds left on the shot clock or on the game clock might be able to get one more chance here on the offensive end we're gonna play great defense force up another bad shot his defense is actually looking to be pretty underrated looks to be a very solid defender no he's gonna get that pinch animation he's going all the way with ryan hollands and we'll actually get one more chance here with about 12 seconds left on the shot clock to see if we can do anything i want to shoot a little maybe a little front fade no i missed time that completely i did not realize it was going to be that slow but maybe we can get one more shot here josh giddy with that normal leaning fade and we're gonna smoke it once again oh my god what a bad way to end the gameplay i wanted to knock down at least one more three but josh giddy did have 14 points one assist one steal and one block shot really good from the field and then i took those bad threes at the end but besides those two threes i missed at the end he was literally perfect from the three-point line and would have shot over 50 percent from the field but yeah guys let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about the galaxy with josh giddy and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace